decomposition here. It's a technique that's very, very useful for when you get to the calculus. So let's take this and we're going to take a negative 7x plus 4 and in the bottom we're going to factor that x squared minus 16 into x plus 4 times x minus 4. Okay, so the idea of partial fraction decomposition in a nutshell is that I want to take these two, this one fraction with a denominator with two pieces in it and turn it into two separate fractions. So we're going to do an a over x plus 4 plus a b over an x minus 4. And I'm going to see if we can locate appropriate constants to make this work. Okay, now I'm going to take the ending in the beginning, so I'm really going to ignore this part in the middle, and multiply both sides by x plus 4 times x minus 4. Okay, the reason I'm doing this is because this is going to clear my denominator. So I'm going to multiply x plus 4, x minus 4 on both sides. On the left hand side you'll only have a negative 7x plus 4 and over here on the right hand side you'll have let's see, on this one the x plus 4 reduces so you get a times x minus 4 and on this one the x minus 4 reduces and you have b times x plus 4. So this is the equation we now get to work with to hopefully isolate and try to find out what the a and the b are. So I need a little bit more room, so I'm just going to rewrite this on the next screen. There we go, negative 7x plus 4 equals a times x minus 4 plus b times x plus 4. And to solve this, I'm going to plug in some special numbers. The first special number I'm going to plug in is going to be x equals negative 4. Now the reason why this is a special number is because it's going to cause there to be a 0 over here. So negative 4 on the left for x means negative 7 times negative 4 would be 28 plus 4 yields 32. And then here we'd have negative 4 times, or minus 4, which is negative 8 times a. So I'm going to get negative 8a. And then of course, dividing both sides by negative 8 is going to yield a equals negative 4. Okay, that was a convenient number. Can you, on your own, think of a different special number we could plug in to make our lives easy here? Can you see it? It would be x equals positive 4, because x equals positive 4 would make this part eliminate and become 0. So that means that we would get what on the left? We get negative 28 plus 4, which is negative 24. Then on the right, we would cancel out the a part of it, and we would be left with 4 plus 4, which is 8 times b. And if negative 24 equals 8 times b, then that's going to mean that we're going to get, when we divide by 8, b equals negative 3. b equals negative 3. So remember, a equals negative 4, b equals negative 3, and that means we can go back to the original problem and we now know what the a and the b are that are going to make this work. So remember the a was negative 4 over x plus 4 and the b was a negative 3, so you get negative 3 over x minus 4. And that is a partial fraction decomposition.